Here we have a 3D exterior render of mine. What if we ask the AI to create new, unique variations for us? I'm just going to click here, generate variations. And there you have it, new design variations in seconds. Let's have a look at some of these images it created. So you can see it tried to keep the same style, but even created some new angles here. And let's say that you don't like something specific about this image. I can click here, edit, and now I'm just going to erase this car. And I can type maybe car with motion blur. Click generate, and it will create three unique images based on this. And so there I have it. It created three unique images. And as you can see, we have some cars with uh, some motion blur. This one is out of scale, but this one could work. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nuno Silva, and what you just saw was an AI tool called DALI. It generates unique images based on text prompts. And in this video, we are going to let it edit our 3D renders. Will it do a good job? <laughs> Let's find out. The first thing we're going to do is to create design variations. As I showed in the beginning of the video, we can go to Upload and simply select any image. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to crop it like this is fine. At this point, it just creates square images and we click done and create generate variations. And there you have it. It created new three unique images based on that image. And for example, I like this one. It created a different angle, a different composition with uh, different types of trees as well. So it looks quite nice, but I don't like this um, people here. So we can just click edit and with the brush tool, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and we can erase here, just click like this, and we can just type grass, create generate, and it will create three new unique images. So there you go. We have, so probably this one, it's the best one. So we don't have this uh, people here that was in the foreground. And we still have more or less the same style, but with completely new design. Of course, you can see if you zoom in, you will see that this is not uh, with super high definition. It still looks more like a collage but this is still in an early stage, so... But I think it's nice for us to create these quick concepts. And the second thing we can do is composition with AI. And here I have a render of mine. So you can see it's a cityscape. If I go to crop it like this, and now I'm going to increase, maybe to about, about here, I think it will be fine. I'm just gonna press enter, and I'm gonna save this image with this transparent background. So now going back here to, to Dali, I'm going to upload the image that we just saved. It's this one. I'm gonna press done. Here you can still crop it, but I'm gonna leave it the whole area. And I'm gonna click edit image. So I need to first type here my text prompt. But if I do this, it will create an error, as you can see, for example, New York. Generate to give an error because I still need to erase areas. So I'm just going to click here and that's it. That's all I need to do. And now I'm gonna create New York Overcast. So this scene, it's already in, in a New York environment, but let's try to fill out the rest of the environment with this AI. And so I think it did a great job to fill out these areas. Even try to fill the car. The car was until here. So it's all out of frame and it tried to complete the car. So here, this here, this one is a little bit busy. So I think probably this one, it's the best one. But uh, let's go back here and change a little bit our prompt. We can change to, instead of New York, let's try something completely different. Maybe Paris. And let's generate. Okay, let's see. So <laughs> I think we have here the Eiffel Tower. And uh, I think the most noticeable from Paris will be that. We have the Eiffel Tower and maybe this building will look more like it. As you can see, you can quickly fill out the rest of, uh, of an image with, uh, with this AI and see how it will look like. And we can even go again to this first building here, this one, and let's edit. And in this case, I'm just going to erase all of this area and I'm just going to try to leave the building. So I'm going to erase like this. Of course, we have all the trees in, the, in front of the building, so I don't know exactly what the AI will do, but let's see. So let me try here, New York 
overcast the same prompt and let's see what we'll do to this building if it will create a city scene around it instead of looking more like a park well there you go now the building it's in a very busy street and uh, it looks like some city like new york with these buildings okay this one it's a more bold change to the building this one is not bad either so we still have a lot of things happening here and so you can see that very quickly you can add these design variations with this ai tool and we can also do other things which is to replace or add objects and so let me load here a new render we can start with this one and if i go here to edit and let's say i don't like this car here so i'm just going to type simply mercedes and so it try to add the car so you can see this one it uh, looks like a mercedes from a couple of years ago <laughs> maybe if i was more specific it will give me a different result so let's go back and let's edit this one again and instead let's type in mercedes amg gt let's see if it will understand what i'm what i meant here okay not bad so now we got something different I just don't like the perspective it is right now and probably the color it's not matching this one it's not matching with the with the environment you can try with different text prompts and see which one will get you the best result probably the more detailed the better even if you add some information about the camera focal length for example it will be better actually we can try that let's see uh, canon this was about let's say 28 24 millimeters f 5.4 so let's see what will be the result with this new prompt so we got something a little bit different could be <laughs> this one this one is too small and this one still well what i think it's not bad is that maybe it's trying to get the same reflection that we see here on this area here on the car so it's not completely bad but the perspective probably i would like something a little bit different than this yeah but you can see some of the options that it generates and the next one is create new styles so i'm going to use this same image and i'm going to create here edit and i'm just going to erase the areas of this building so i'm just going to erase like this this area this And now here on the text prompt, I'm going to say Kango Kuma. So just this, nothing else. And let's see what images it will generate. <laughs> so it created very unique images. And every time you create a new prompt, even with the same text, it will create different designs. For example, here's another one with the same architect. And uh, you can see the type of designs and maybe we can type here another architect and uh, let's see what images it will create what style and again this is interesting to create very fast concepts of, uh, of your projects you can just have a base idea and tell the AI to create extra images for you and so <laughs> well this one is very curious but it's interesting that it even adds this uh, background mountains here and, and some trees Well, I think this one would probably would be more specific. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I have some more interesting images. It's funny that on this one, it's trying to merge the, the wall with these shapes. Let's try one last one. I'm just going to erase again all of this area and even this part. And we can try modern house in a sea coastal area, Kengu Kuma. Now this is something. We can see now very interesting changes. It created this uh, sea coastal area and these unique designs.
And the last one we're going to explore is to add some new elements, like uh, create new skies, for example. So you can click here, let's say we like this image, and we want a more dramatic sky. So let's add here on this area, sunset sky with some clouds. Let's generate. So sometimes it gives things like it has nothing to do with what we asked. <laughs> this is a good example. Let's try again. So we have here some dramatic results. This one not really. This one no. Maybe something like this would work, but the birds here are completely off. And now let's talk about the pricing for this tool. If you see here, they have credits. And for each $15, you get 115 credits. These credits basically it's each text prompt that you can have. You can basically, the more credits you buy, the more expensive you'll get. And how to get access to this tool. It's currently in beta, so you have to join the waitlist and go to their website, which is this one, you can see here. And you click join the waitlist. And when you do, you'll have this page. Put all your data here and just click get on the waitlist. I know that many people are waiting for months already. I also waited for a couple of months to get access to this tool. So what I suggest is to just sign up and the faster you sign up, the faster you'll get access to it. And I already made a video covering this dolly. I'll leave a link in the top right corner if you want to have a look at it. And let me know if you want me to make more videos of these AI tools, exploring how we can get the best out of them. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.